We Are Men yes. is a new CBS comedy that premieres tonight. It's about four single guys living in an apartment complex. Jerry O'Connell plays an OBGYN. He's trying to hide his assets from his second wife until their divorce is settled. Well, she gave me chlamydia once. See if she wants half of that back. Dr. Stuart Weber. Stuart fell madly in love with a young divorce attorney who, it turns out, was very good at her job. Next time, he fell for a more spiritual woman who, on their honeymoon in Paris, developed a taste for the material world and a distaste for her new husband. Six months later, she hired the most ruthless lawyer in town. <laughs> Jerry O'Connell, <laughs> good morning. This is good a fun, fun character to play. You know, it's a lot of fun because I am an old married man with kids, so to play a newly single guy out on the scene, it's, uh, it's sort of fun to live <laughs> vicariously through him, you know? They described it as a newly single guy who's very angry because this is his second divorce. It isn't going well. I'm thinking he's angry because he has to wear that Speedo. Uh, Speedo yeah. is very hard to pull off, Jerry O'Connell. I do have to wear a Speedo. I got a lot of advice from Charlie. Uh, <laughs> It was like, look, do, do let tell. me tell you how we do this. Yeah, do yeah. Tell. You got to make sure blood's flowing everywhere, first of all. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, you got to make sure your tan lines are straight. You know, a lot of these guys wear shorts and then throw in a Speedo. It doesn't work, buddy. Yeah. Um, by the way, I can't, believe, I can't believe I'm at the table with one of the stars of Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> what an honor. Congratulations on your finale last Thank night. Thank you. Thank you. That was great to see you on there. Thank it really you, was. Pleasure. I awesome. thought for sure you were going to pop up last night. <laughs> Only a mention. You were going to help Walter White escape. It was good. But there's Perfect a, ending, didn't you think? I, I thought it was great. I don't want to spoil it. A lot of people watch these right. things later, but I really enjoyed it. But there is something going on with these bromance kind of shows where, you know, this was based on your producer who was going through a divorce, and he, he said he did four different composites of how he was feeling. Right. With, well, the, with the character. Well, it's, uh, it's four of us. It's, it's Cal Penn, the amazing Tony Shalhoub, who's yes. a terrific right. oh, actor. Wow. Monk, yeah. uh, Chris Smith, who's the new guy who moves in and myself, and my character's angry about his two divorces. Uh, Cal Penn is in denial. He thinks he's getting back together with his ex. <laughs> yes. And Tony Shalhoub is sort of the Phil Jackson Zen master oh, yeah. of divorce. And like, everything happens for a reason. Don't worry, we're gonna get through this. And Chris Smith, who's terrific also, uh, plays the new guy who's sort of, it, the, the, the story's told through his eyes. Now, did you take a break? from acting to go to law school? I did, I went to uh, Southwestern Law School in Los Angeles. I, uh, Why would you do that? Um, you know, I, uh, I just, uh, my wife was working uh, a lot. We had Your two, wife would be Rebecca, Rebecca Romaine. Romaine. Yeah. Um, uh, hi, hi, honey, how are you? Good morning. <laughs> hi, honey, how are you? Um, <laughs> hope those kids weren't such a hassle this morning. Oh, there we are. There you um, are. Uh, but um, m my wife was working, we had two kids. I was a stay-at-home dad and uh, I yeah. was getting kind of antsy, and I wasn't going to take a job for a year and a half. And um, I took the LSATs and applied to an accredited law school, Southwestern. Yeah. It's, it's a good school. Right. And I went for a year, and it was a lot of fun. It was a great education. And then how old are your twins? Uh, they, are, they are almost five. Yeah. Um, oh, there we are. There's a, there's Jerry, a you tell a funny story about comparing that you go on the playground and you look to see what other kids are doing, and then you look at your kids and go, okay. They're um, a little crazy. Look, well, there they are. That's, <laughs> uh, that, that's them before they went to music class. Look, they're great. They're obviously very pretty. Not the smartest, um, <laughs> sure. but uh, they're, uh, no, they're, they're, <laughs> a, they're a lot and, of fun. But also, now that they're talking, it's getting a little easier. I'm able to, you know, they're... Now they're, that they're talking, they're fine. <laughs> well, I know, well, I mean, I know, but I mean, still, they're not, it's not just gibberish. It's like, I'm able to reason with them. I'm able to... I negotiate apps. They have, um, they have iPads, and yes. they always want apps. And I'm like, all right, listen, if you brush your teeth, I'll buy you an app. <laughs> and then they want another app, and I say, look, Daddy has to go to work before we can afford another app. We can't afford it. <laughs> your wife knows something about looking good in a bathing suit. I am very fascinated by the Speedo thing, because I think in grown men, I think it's very difficult to pull off. What advice did she tell you to make you feel comfortable in that look? Um... My wife firstly told me to go to Pilates, um, <laughs> uh, which I tried, but uh, it's just too many machines and springs. I was a little scared being in there, actually. It looks like a torture device. What's the deal with that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and my wife told me to get a tan, go to a tanning salon and uh, tan it up a little bit. And uh, also Charlie, I talk to him every day. He says, you know, how's it going with that? Yeah. Well, make sure, you're, make work, sure you're grooming. Worked congrats, out okay, didn't it? Congrats on the show. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Congratulations for you guys. I love watching you. Premieres tonight at 8:30. That's it for us. Thank you for joining us.